Welcome everyone to the Predictive Playbook. This is NFL Week 8 action and it's going to be one hell of a Week 8 in my opinion. There's so many good games this week. It's a better card in my opinion than last week and we're going to get right to it with my two good colleagues and buddies Rocky Atkinson and Don Buster. We're going to start off with Rocky Atkinson. We're going to look at the Titans taking on the Colts. The Titans are coming off a game that humiliated me last week. I was on Kansas City and looked like uh, I it was my first day of handicapping. But the Titans are obviously a real team. They're five and two. The Colts are now three and four. Every game now for the Colts is going to matter. Indianapolis is a one point favorite, over under fifty and a half points at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana, at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. Take it away, Rocky, and tell us where the best bet is on this game. Like you said, we have Tennessee coming in with a five and two straight up record this year. Indianapolis is three and four on the season so far. Uh, Tennessee's allowing twenty five point three points per game on the road this year. Indianapolis is scoring twenty eight point seven points per game the last three games overall. Uh, Tennessee's off big wins over Buffalo and Kansas City. I'm looking for a letdown here. Um, also, we look ahead on their schedule. They play the Rams next week, who are currently one of the best teams in the league, sitting sitting at 6-1 straight o- straight up overall this year. So I think we can c- catch uh, Tennessee looking past the Colts here. Public is all over Tennessee here in this one. And and who can blame them? I mean, they've, they've been playing incredible ball. Um over the past couple of weeks with those big wins. Uh, the Colts, however, have also been playing uh, well the past couple of weeks. They had a blowout win against Houston at home, 31-3. to Then they went to San Francisco last week, won 30-18 to as underdogs. The Colts' defense allowed only 280 yards against the 49ers and forced four turnovers in that game. Carson Wentz has played well, uh, completing 64.4% of his pass attempts. He has 11 touchdowns compared to only one interception. Jonathan Taylor has 579 yards rushing, which is second best in the NFL only behind Derrick Henry. Uh, Taylor's averaging 5.5 yards per carry, and he has five touchdowns on the season. A few trends for this game. Indianapolis is 4-0 against the spread last four games overall. Indianapolis is 4-1 against the spread last five games when playing against a team with a winning record. The Colts are 18-7-1 against spread last 26 home games against a team with a winning road record. The Colts are 14-6 and six against spread the last 20 meetings overall in this series. And the favorite, Colts are sitting as one-point favorites right now. The favorites 8-2 and two against the spread the last 10 meetings in this series. So I'm going to play the Indianapolis Colts in this one. I love the breakdown, Rocky. It makes total sense to me. The Colts should win that game, and they're going to be a dangerous team, I think, coming down the stretch here in the second half. Let's move over to Don Buster. We're going to break down another 1 o'clock game in Fox Sports. Panthers 3-4, and 1-2 and two on the road, taking on those Falcons that are suddenly 3-3, three and three, but 1-2 and two at home. This is taking place at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta's a three-point home favorite with a total of 46. Take it away, Buster, and tell us where the best bet is in this matchup. Okay, John, and as always, thanks for having me on uh, the show. Going to go with Atlanta here. This is going to be the second road game for Carolina. And to me and to a lot of people, it looks like these two teams are going in opposite directions, obviously. Atlanta has won three out of their last four games. And even losing the, the game that they lost, they you know, late touchdown, they could have won that game against Washington. And also remember, they had Tampa Bay. In Tampa Bay, I mean, it was tied with, I think, six, seven minutes left. And, uh, you know, they got beat up at the end there. So this team has been playing good. They threw in a stinker at the beginning of the year against Philly. But overall, they've been doing, playing well. Now Carolina win their first three games, now lost their last four, and their offense last week. It's like all teams have caught up with uh, the Sam Donald and their offense, the Carolina offense. They had 173 yards last week against a Giants defense, as we all know, that is not the best. And actually, Atlanta, even though their defense has had trouble, they're actually statistically better than the Giants defense. And Atlanta, with a, a lot of emotion going forward here because they've been playing really well, they, they feel like they have a chance to, to, to move forward here. Um, 
but it's always tough to bet Matt Ryan, is it? You know, they seem to just win games. I had Atlanta money line uh, last week, and, you know, they have, a, they have a big lead in the fourth quarter to come back. But uh, I really think Atlanta being at home, the mess of Carolina's offense, Carolina has a good defense, but if that defense is on the field all the time, Atlanta has a pretty good offense, and I, I think they wear them down by the end of the game and uh, win this game by seven. And John, as always, for you, I always like to give a stat. Carolina are one and six against the spread in the last seven meetings between these clubs. So I'll take Atlanta only laying a field goal at home. Hey, I like it. I think uh, Matt Ryan is probably the most underrated quarterback in the history of the NFL. And I think they're a team, too, that's flying under the radar. So I love the bet. But now we're going to have one where you need to be sitting down and not standing because I think you might be prone to fainting. We are going to take a look at the, uh, the, the Jets game. And in this game, as soon as I uh, switch the screen here, in this game, we have a 1 o'clock start. The Jets are 1-5, one 1-1 and five, one and one at home. That means they had four losses out of their five on the road. Cincinnati comes into this game the number one seed in the AFC. Who would have thought that? But they are playing at a very high level. They're coming off a statement game, even though their head coach said he doesn't believe in statement games, but that was a statement game, in my humble opinion, uh, beating uh, Baltimore the way they did. And now they take on the Jets on the road at MetLife Stadium, and it reminds me of the time last year, a little bit later in the season than now, but Seattle marched into MetLife Stadium as a 14.5-point underdog, and the Jets won. And my models referenced that game as the, one of the reasons to bet the Jets on this game. So rest assured, I am not calling for the straight-up uh, win by the Jets. Uh, I, I think a little sprinkle maybe of half a unit on the Jets um, does make sense here, just in case. But the Bengals, if there was ever a letdown spot uh, with a young quarterback at the helm, it would have to be this one. The Jets' defense is fully capable of staying in the game, and then it's a question of whether you know, the offense can finally score some points. So I am on the Jets in this game. Uh, by the way, Cincinnati, last five times, uh, they were 5-2. and two. Uh, Going back to 1992, all five years they went on to the playoffs. So it's good news for them, regardless of the outcome of this game. I think they win the game, but I don't think they cover. And supporting this is uh, betting on dogs that are facing an outstanding team, outgaining their opponents by .75 yards per play or more, and coming off a game uh, where they're 400 – Coming off a game, gaining 400 more total yards in that game. 48, 13, and 1. That's 78% winning bets over the last five seasons. That supports the Jets in this game. So we're going to look for a little regression here with the Bengals. Don't get me wrong. I love the Bengals, guys. They're a great team, great coach. They're a powerful team going into the playoffs this year, I'm sure. But in this situation... They are pretty darn vulnerable to this barking dog called the Jets. So there you have it, folks. We have three best bets. We appreciate you watching the show. Rocky Buster, thank you for your time. Make sure you get over to sportsmemo.com and get this three-day subscription that it's been offering scrolling down at the bottom of the screen uh, using the promo code FBCAST. 50 percent off a three-day package that's a great way to test drive every single one of us so on behalf of rocky buster myself sportsmemo.com and the predictive playbook may all the wins be yours thanks for watching guys